It's been just four days since Google unveiled its hotly anticipated Pixel 8 series. While the devices are getting a lot of love for their overall performance, there are whispers of an Achilles heel. Yes, we're talking about the camera. But hold on to your seats. There's more to discuss beyond the camera, so stay tuned. Now, without further ado, let's dive into exactly what's going on with the camera in the Pixel 8 series. The camera, especially in scenes with sharp contrasts, displayed unusual patterns and a considerable amount of noise. It all comes down to how the software attempts to blend multiple image exposures. Unfortunately, it doesn't do a particularly neat job at it. This leads to strange-looking noise and artifacts in the darker areas, along with overly aggressive software smoothing in places where there should be fine details. It's like mixing different paint colors but ending up with a messy splatter, rather than a blend. The Google Pixel 8 Pro's DNG RAW files can be a bit problematic. They often turn out not so great, with more image noise and a weird haziness in the scene that needs a lot of fixing. It seems like this gets even worse when you try to edit them using apps like Lightroom. But there's hope it's likely that as Adobe gets its act together and improves support, things might get better. Now, when you're trying to snap those massive 50 megapixel raw shots, there's a bit of a delay around one to two seconds. Why you may ask? Because the phone has to take these huge files and piece them together, which is quite a complex task. Blame it on the Tensor G3 processor. The poor thing is really feeling the weight of the job. On the flip side, if you scale down to 12 megapixels, there's no such delay. So save the high-res mode for those calm landscape shots, not when you're trying to capture your friends racing on the beach. Fingers crossed that next year's Pixel 9 Pro packs a more powerful chip that can speed up this process. CMET's tech expert, Stephen Shanklin, did a deep dive into the Pixel 8 Pro's glitches, explaining what might be causing them. Turns out it's mostly due to a software glitch, something Google is fully aware of. They've assured a fix is in the works and coming very soon. However, even after a lot of testing, these strange image problems are still there. On the flip side, there are times when the Pixel 8 Pro works really well. It was tested in different lighting, day and night, and compared to other strong phones like the iPhone 15 Pro and the older Pixel 7 Pro. We'll just have to wait and see in the coming weeks how Google addresses and truly fixes this issue, meeting the expectations of the majority. The Google Pixel 8 Pro starts its journey with Android 14, which doesn't look all that different from Android 13, to be honest. It got a similar appearance, but Google spiced things up with some neat AI additions. One of the cool features is this AI wallpaper creator. You pick words like bicycle or wood, mix them with colors and art styles, and boom, you've got a one-of-a-kind wallpaper. It's a blast to try out, but hey, the AI doesn't always hit the mark. You can't go all out with it, but it's still a cool twist. Google didn't stop there with AI. They sprinkled it all over the phone. There's call screening and article summarizing, but those are only in the US for now. There are also better tools for turning speech into text and translating. Plus, AI can jazz up your photos. You can tweak the sky in a landscape, make things in the photo bigger or smaller, or even make them disappear. Sometimes, the results aren't pro-level, but they're playful for casual shots. But here's the waiting game. It takes about 13 to 18 seconds for the AI to make each change, which feels like forever. Not sure if the phone's brain power or a software hiccup causing the delay. Compared to the Pixel 8, which breezes through these changes in about 5 seconds, it's a bit of a bummer. Another issue that seems to be bothering users revolves around the Google Pixel 8's display. Google proudly states it's equipped with a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. However, when users actually activate this feature, they're not noticing a significant difference compared to the standard 60Hz setting. This is a cause for concern, especially when comparing it side by side with the Pixel 8 Pro, where the difference in smoothness is clear. Even the previous Pixel 7 Pro outperforms the Pixel 8 in terms of smoothness, raising questions about why the promised 120Hz experience isn't delivering as expected. Two different Pixel 8 devices were tested and both exhibited the same issue, falling short of the anticipated smoothness that a 120Hz display should provide. Another concern surfacing with the Google Pixel 8 series, a chronic issue for Pixel users, is the sluggishness of updates. Users have reported that a 199 megabytes update took a whopping 45 minutes to complete as reported by Tracking Tech English. This delay raises frustration levels as speed updates are expected in today's tech landscape. Adding to the list of concerns is the limited storage option for the Pixel 8 Pro, which is currently only available in 128 gigs. In an era where we hoard photos, videos, and apps, this storage capacity might seem insufficient, with even users wanting more room for their digital lives. And that's a wrap for today, highlighting the various concerns within the Google Pixel 8 series. After taking a closer look at these potential drawbacks, the big question remains. 
Will you confidently hit that purchase button or opt to hold off for now? We value your thoughts, so share your views in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.